Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be mentioning some fun facts about my childhood. Now, just a disclaimer, I wrote some notes right next to me just in case I get off topic or um, anything like that. And also, some of these fun facts that I'll be mentioning will be explained into further detail in some future videos. So, some of these fun facts I'll be mentioning won't be mentioned in future videos, and some will. So anyway, without further delay, let's get this started. The first fun fact I would like to mention is that my picky eating habits started at the age between three or four years old, and still now today. So sometimes my picky eating habits can be pretty selective. I don't eat that much like I used to, but whenever I do, it's just... Whatever I find at home, I eat it. And whatever's not at home, whatever I don't like is not at home or anywhere I like to eat in restaurants, I just don't eat it. Just wait until whatever else is at home or whatever I get. I can be very, very picky with my food selections. And now don't judge me if you guys aren't picky eaters yourself. It's just... Whatever happens, happens. And there are some people out there like me, you know, picky eating and stuff like that. I got a cousin who's also a picky eater. Honestly, she eats um, way better than I do. But anyway, that's fact number one. Now let's get to fact number two. Fact number two is that I was a weird kid growing up in school. From elementary school, middle school, junior high, and mostly up to high school, Sometimes I try so hard to fit in with a bunch of other kids my age that I try really hard to make everyone laugh. Sometimes I make people laugh without even trying. It's just when I try too hard, nobody finds me funny. And the same thing go goes with teachers and other staff members at school. And I'm still a weird individual today. Sometimes I'm weird and sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I find myself weird and awkward and just the odd one out. Didn't feel like an outcast and all that. There are some stereotypes in school that some people label themselves as. But me, I usually label myself in school as the weird kid or class clown. But mostly, I mostly identify as a teacher's pet because I was a huge teacher's pet at school especially all the way up to high school as well and now that I'm an adult you know I like to hang out with other adults my age and I get along with other people pretty well in most places especially when I go to work too I still don't have a job yet by the way but it'll work out eventually anyway let's move on Fact number three, my least favorite subject in school was reading. I never liked reading at all, especially in elementary school. It gotten so bad to the point where my mom forces me to check out a book from the library to bring it home just so I can practice my reading skills, even if I hate reading. But nowadays, from middle school all the way up to high school, reading... I kind of liked reading a little bit over the years. Not too bad, but there are some rare occasions where I find something good to read, especially when it came to my senior year in high school was one of my favorite parts of reading because my, our teacher suggested these books for us to read for like a test grade, take tests over it for each chapter. And some of those books that our teacher suggested were pretty good. One of the examples was A Fault in Our Stars. I loved that book. We couldn't finish it though, because it was nearly the end of the school year, so we only got to half of it. But we did watch part of the movie too for like a little comparison example, and it was really good. I highly recommend A Fault in Our Stars. It was so good. Anyway, next up, fact number four. When I was between the age of nine or ten years old, mostly nine years old, I injured my right big toe on summer vacation and it hurt pretty bad. I'll explain it into further detail in a future video. 
just so you can get a better, you know, explanation and further detail about my injury. And I could still notice it today because it, it, it has a pretty noticeable scar. Again, I'll mention it in a future video eventually, just not at the moment. Anyway, on to my final interesting fact about my childhood. The final fact I have for you guys today in this video in general is that I wasn't always the perfect kid in school. I wasn't always a good kid. There have been some occasions where I've gotten in trouble and those instances happen to, happened to be, um, I got in trouble several times in first grade. I couldn't keep track in first grade because it was one of the most, one of the most times I gotten in trouble in and I couldn't keep track of any of it. And twice in third grade and one time in my freshman year of high school. So then again, I was nobody's perfect when it comes to elementary school, middle school, junior high, high school. It's just you're learning from your mistakes. I'm never, I came to realize the fact that I will never be perfect in any way, shape, or form. Even if I was well behaved in most grades, there have been some occasions I can't escape from that, you know, the trouble I've caused. But after a while, it shaped me as a person because whenever I got in trouble, I had to learn from my mistakes and learn to never do it again. It was hard to get through since I was an emotionally sensitive kid and still am today, that whenever I got in trouble, I cried really bad, especially during my time in, as a freshman when I got in trouble that one time. I did cry and my biology teacher felt really bad for me, but I had to suck it up and face my punishment because nobody can get away from their punishments unscathed. You have to face it head on, suck it up, deal with it, and whatever happens, happens. As long as you don't do any bad stuff in the future that affects your life or anybody else's, then you're okay. So, nobody's perfect. Not even me. Anyway, that's all I have to say in this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed some interesting facts, fun facts about my childhood. And um, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.